thing is it's really hot in this room because this won't go back crap uh oh it says um it's taking the temperature of the room because it's so hot in here anyways which would stop doing that let's see It was 101.9 last time I took it. That's in case you think I'm being psychosomatic because uh, Dragon Breath breathed in my face. But it ain't psychosomatic when you wake up, like, and your teeth are chattering and you're just shaking all over and stuff. And it's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's 4.48 now. I just turn this heater beside the bed, like, on full blast to the point where it's actually affecting the reading on this thing so I would stop shaking. But, uh, yeah, it's 101.9. And I got sweat running out of me. So, it wasn't, it's not like the power of suggestion. Like, oh, I think I'm sick. You can't really, like, fake, you know, that. So, hopefully this is the flu and not the new flu. Wouldn't that be funny if I got the flu? I've had contact with nobody. And one person comes in here. And, uh, they get up and breathe right in my face. Literally. Nobody else has been in this apartment since then. But wouldn't that be funny if I get that from an agency that was supposed to help me? And the and I get COVID from them in the process of finding out that they aren't doing the housework that they're supposed to be doing anyway. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid to get out of bed because of uh, being busy and stuff. I should. Um, it's not really high that high of a fever or anything like that. But, you know, I, I, I got trouble walking. So if I get dizzy, that's ridiculous, man. You put a goldfish in this divot in my neck. That's, this is ridiculous. And um, with fever, you get an accelerated heartbeat. So I get, I get the bad heart. So I get the fun of feeling my heart beating too fast. So I took a blood pressure pill to try to slow my heart down. And, uh. Um, now my brain don't want to work because I got a feverish brain. I got a baby's brain and an old man's heart. It took too damn long to get this far. But anyways, um, yeah, I didn't like that because that harkened down, that harkened me back to the days where I could feel my own heartbeat and sit there and stress about it and stuff. So I didn't like that. You know, I didn't take my pulse. I don't have a watch or anything. I have to minimize this. It's kicking pretty good. I guess made it at around 100. Uh, how much of that is anxiety? I don't know because it's tough when you're alone and then you're sick. You know? And um, the people you have to depend on aren't too dependable. And like I said, they don't. I only had contact with the one person. They breathed right in my fucking face. So what? Whatever this is, I got it from them. So I'm going to call and say, look, man, uh, I had like 102 fever because 101.9. I'm sure it was over 102 when I was sitting there shaking. And believe me, I wasn't taking no temperature or anything like that. I was just trying to keep from shaking the pieces. I felt like an old jalopy sitting here. 
since I like to share though, I was going to try to put that on camera. And I'm like, don't do that, man. Just try to uh, get yourself to stop shaking like that. And like you do when you have a high fever and uh, um, crank that heater up. I crank the heater up and doze for like half a second after shaking for another, I don't know how long. Who knows? I wouldn't, wouldn't keep in track. But yeah, see my breathing because it's in a COVID is like a respiratory thing. So I've been complaining about my breath coming a little short, but that's supposed to be the first symptom was supposed to be this a high fever. And I don't really have like a cough or anything. This could be like the flu uh, type B, which I seem to get a lot, but I, I don't know how that works. I, I just had the flu not too long ago, but um. I ain't gonna stress about it. What good's that gonna do? I don't like feeling my heart like that, so yeah. I don't like just sitting here with sweat running on me. I thought I had food poisoning because I made a very bad dietary diet dietary choice. I was hungry and I was like sleepy as hell, but I'm like, ah, if I don't eat something, um, man, I'm gonna wake up. So. I went ahead and ate, uh, there's a wheeze, I went ahead and ate um, chicken enchiladas with uh, cheddar cheese and sour cream on, not wise, so yeah, not, I got a disagreeable stomach, I can see my heart beating in my stomach, man, that's fucked up, I hope that shows up on camera. I'm told that that's not unusual with people that don't carry a lot of weight. Let's see if I can put something on it. You see it moving? My breathing is a little labored. Every time that moves that little bit, it's my heart. So, now the envelope's wet. That was my bank statement. Bank statement's pretty secure. You got me I fat. I should have worn my slimming clothes. Fuck, oh, man. Yeah, if you got anxiety, this is not a good thing. Right now, in these times. It's not fair because I don't see anybody. I mean, literally, I don't see, and nobody comes here. I can't get people to come here. I, I, I don't know. How long ago, my nephew was here, and the um, guy from Coleman, I'd have to look that up. Because this stuff, it can take like two weeks to present. It's been a week since uh, Dragon Breath breathed in my face. Um, I don't know. If it's the flu, it's supposed to hit you like that, like a hammer. I don't know how what COVID does. I think COVID's fast onset with the um, high fever too. So, but fever's coming down at least. I'm not shaking, and I mean I'm sweating. I, that's why I was talking about what I ate. Is I thought maybe I had food poisoning because I ate something exotic and weird and put sour cream on it and jazzed it up and whatnot. And I went to sleep and I woke up like shaking because you you know food poisoning. You try to sweat it out of you, but um. Yeah, I don't have like the severe stomach cramping and the other unpleasant food stamp, uh, food stamp, food poisoning type symptoms. I don't like the fact that my breathing is not the best and my heart is beating fast because that's what your heart will do when you have a fever. So now that I showed my fat stomach on TV, <laughs> I'm fucking out of it, and um, totally uh, gave you some visual TMI. I'm going to get out of here. And, uh, uh, don't worry about me. I'm just like, even if it's COVID, I, I can survive it. I'm like a cockroach, man. It takes a lot to kill me. So don't get worried or not like that. Or this could be like a cold. This could be the regular like flu type B. You know, whatever this is, man, it hit me like a fucking hammer, like I said, because it wasn't like I was thinking about it and don't get nervous and anxious. 
and made myself sick. I was dead fucking asleep. The next thing I know, I'm awake and just shaking all over and sweat's running out of me and I feel real bad. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Of course, my mind went right to COVID. And then uh, it took me a while to find that thermometer. Um, yeah, it seems to be going down. I haven't even taken them. Um, it went down from 101.9, essentially 102 to 101.3 so um, I was told anything over 102 is considered a fairly high fever and then when you start talking to 104s you talk, start talking to danger zone but I'm not I'm not a doctor especially not right now I just been to a lot of them but I remember uh, my doctor who's in jail uh, told me he's like uh, you got a pretty high fever going there He's like, uh, it's over 102. Um, I think you got the flu. And I want to test you for the flu. And he tested me for the flu. And he said, well, you don't have the flu, but you're presenting flu-like symptoms. So here's some Tamiflu. So that was cool. Uh, the guy did a good job that day because, you know, before it really got entrenched, I was already attacking it with the Tamiflu. I don't remember when that was, uh, when I had it. Exactly. Boy, my mouth dry. Yeah. I promise not to die on camera. That's even for me that would be unseemly. It's just gross and wrong. It's really like unnerving. You're trying to like calm yourself down and shit. Your heart's just beating fast. I'm not really that nervous. It's like my heart's just beating fast. It's beating regular. It's just beating fast. Uh because of the fever. But it's really unnerving to feel it and see it. You know, you don't want that. You don't want anything. You don't want your heart to present itself in any way when you have heart problems. You don't want to feel it. You don't want to see it. You want it to just do its job and shut the fuck up. And don't draw attention to itself. Don't be an attention whore, heart. But no, you know, don't get worried for me. I'll be alright. There's no guarantees this is COVID, and there's also no guarantees it'll kill me if it's COVID. So, it's almost 5 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, I think I'll take, uh, I think I'll risk getting up and go to the bathroom. Um, like I said, man, being alone is okay. I don't mind being alone, but I don't like being sick and alone. I don't like having a fucked up leg and being alone. That's hard. Because it's like there still isn't a blind up there because I can't do it. And there still isn't a, a, my clock that I hang up from a piece of uh, heavy duty fishing line on uh, uh, where the curtain rod would go if I use curtain rods. I can't do that either. I can't climb on anything. And uh, you know, I can't do a lot of different things for myself. But I'm not going into any um, and Sharon, I believe, said something about assisted living or whatever new. I'm fighting that as long as I can fight it, as long as I can get away with it. I'm already getting supposed to be getting assistance um, with the cleaning and stuff, and I will be having my house clean. But uh, for their sake, you know, if, actually for the sake of the other people that they visit, I don't feel that kindly toward the aid workers right now. But if this is COVID thing I got, I should be isolated. And, um, you know, I'm going to call them up and tell them not to send Denise, her fake name, and not to send her at all. So there won't be no confrontation today. There will just be me being sick and hoping uh, I get better. I don't have much else to say besides uh, this is just further evidence of my shamelessness. I just have like a nice flat stomach, but I got old. <laughs> I used to have hair, but I got old. I used to have teeth. But I got old. I got I got like uh, those um, outdoor lines around the eyes. I don't have a whole lot of wrinkles. Uh, while I'm taking inventory and being gross, I got a little bit of that neck thing. Uh, that's starting. You know, all that stuff doesn't even mean anything to me. I just don't want to hurt. You know, when you're in pain, you really keep your priorities straight and your vanity. Yeah, your vanity is like way at the bottom because uh, uh, I'm chronic. Horrifying pain, not being able to walk. You got other things to worry about than like, how do I look today? But I'm just uh, being silly. 
because of, you know, it's, it's more of myself that I generally show on camera, so. Um, yeah, I take that and get some fresh water, maybe some, take a vitamin, and drink some orange juice. Something about orange juice seems like a good idea. I don't know why. Anyways, this is going to be me being boring. Uh, I'm just sick. And, uh, the breathing thing is another symptom of COVID. But it's not fair if I get it because I don't have contact with nobody, man. I don't fucking see nobody, you know. Even when the landlord, well, I guess he could have had it on his hands. But even when the landlord came in here, he was had a mask on. He said, can I turn on your kitchen faucet? You know, I could have touched the faucet. It could have been on his hands. I mean, you don't know about this shit. You can't really worry about it. You just have to use sense. I'm like that lady that just walks right up on me. You know? I just, what did I say about it? I never hit a woman. I might feel like slapping her right now. But that's just my deliriousness talking. I'm gonna get out of here or get off of here when I get up. There's gonna be like a, you know how in cartoons when a guy runs through the uh, wooden side of a barn and leaves a man shape. There's gonna be like a man shape in sweat on this fucking bed. Cause I just cranked that heater up until I thought until I got warm. Cause I was just cold. I mean I was just fucking cold. And then I got the room so hot. I think that's what it was doing. It was reading the temperature of the room at 91. And um. Yeah, but I hate that shaking shit, you know, where your teeth are chattering and you're shaking and you can't get warm and stuff. It's horrible. So I'll go ahead and cook myself like a lobster. And um, anyways, when that thermometer is just supposed to say low and then it F. But if it's too hot in your room, then it takes the temperature of the room, which is what it did before I put, you know, that's why it said 91, whatever. Um. I wonder if I want to get cold when I go out there. Well, time to stop being a pussy and get off here. I know that's misogynistic and anachronistic and whatever istic, but I've heard many a woman use that expression. I don't know, it's just an expression. Uh, I will say wuss, but I have no idea what that means. Wimp. They had Wimp, a character named Wimpy. That was always begging for shit. I don't know where that came from either. Uh, sissy is also misogynistic because, um, yeah, my sister, like, picked dudes up and threw them off the porch before. I, I seen it. And, um, so, yeah, I'm going to stop being cowardly and get up and walk. And, uh, hopefully not fall over. Of course, I have no cane in here because that wouldn't make sense. I don't expect me to make sense. There's no cane in there. There's no walker in here. So, I'm like, be holding on to the bed. And like trying to find something to make it to the bathroom with but yeah this this ain't too bad right now but if this is like the onset of it it could get worse I don't know um, it's not I mean it's not too bad I'm not puking or I don't have the other thing the other problem no don't seem like a run into the bathroom thing which is yeah that's a lot of fun when you can't walk um, yeah, that's enough of me. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on here. <laughs> it's news, right? <laughs> but don't worry about me. I don't, yeah, I ain't worried about me, so I'm just worried about, like, uh, walking. And dying ain't no thing to me. I don't like all the suffering that comes before it, but the actual dying part, that ain't nothing to me, man. I'm telling you the truth when I tell you that. Living's hard. Dying's easy. That's what they used to say. The comedians used to say, comedy is hard. Dying is easy. And, uh, yeah. And I have proved that many times on here that comedy is very hard. Anyways, goodbye. Have a good thought. Take care of yourselves. Don't let nobody breathe cigarette smoke in your face. Actually, cigarette breath. She did come in here with, with the butt in her mouth. Even though her breath sounded smelled like a butt. Uh, yeah, that would be funny. 
<laughs> you got a healthcare worker. These are the sickest. They might as well if they're not going to test for COVID. But, you know, just come in here like, hey, what can I help you with today? Got a cigarette hanging out of her mouth like a Humphrey Bogart. You know, you flicks the ashes in the sink. You want me to cook for you? You want me to wash these hair dishes? What do you want me to do? <laughs> See, that's kind of funny. I think that's funny. Anyway, goodbye.